Hello all, welcome back to my videos. Um, a couple of weeks ago I unboxed a Raspberry Pi. Now I haven't tested it out yet, I haven't had a chance to plug it into anything yet, but um, I have got a case for it, well a cover for it at least. So um, this video is going to be me building this case and putting the Raspberry Pi in it. So um, I've got this case um, for about six pounds off of Amazon. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, it's a very basic case. Uh, uh, there's no instructions to it, so um, we're sort of winging it here, really. Um, I think I know how to put it together. It looks quite self-explanatory, but um, again, we'll we'll give it a go and see how we get on. All right. So I presume this is the base this is the top because it's in the shape of a raspberry so it's got some holes in the base here so I presume we're going to attach these standoffs to it okay so we'll give that a go and we'll attach some standoffs to it and see how we get on So I'm just going to do it finger tight for the minute. Ah, oh, this little grooves in. Oh, right. So there's little grooves in here. So I think they go on the bottom. So they go downwards. So the Raspberry Pi can clip into them. Um, so I'm going to pop them on and see how we get on. And see how far we get. I presume we need to get them round that way, so they're facing inwards, so they can lock into the Raspberry Pi, like so. So we'll put a couple in, and then we'll line up the Pi and see how see how we get. So again, we're making sure the little insert grooves are facing inwards which is not easy when you're trying to do this so I'm just going to use a screwdriver now there we go okay I'm going to get the raspberry pi out of its anti-static bag Stinky little thing, there's a raspberry pie. And I'm going to place it in the standoffs. Correct, let's try and put it the right way up, shall we? Right, so obviously I've got the standoffs the wrong way up. Okay. My fault, schoolboy error. Let's try again. So let's turn these over because obviously it looks like the standoffs need to go up the other way. So we'll turn it round and put it in the other way up. Again, we'll do the same with this one. Right, so now we've got the standoffs going the right way around. Trying not to damage this in any way. So it looks like it goes that way up, which would now make sense. So let's just take that out for a minute. Just pop another one in. And again, get the standoffs the right way up. And get it so the grooves are the right way round. 
I must admit it's not the greatest cover in the world. I may look for a different cover to be quite honest. Um, but we'll, we'll carry on regardless at the minute. Ridiculous. Right. Yeah, they don't make it easy, do they? <laughs> right, let's keep that on the table. Keep it in the grooves. Somehow we've got to wrestle this one into place. You need about five hands to do this. Oh, that is tricky. That is very, very, very tricky. Oops. You're probably shouting at me at home going, no, that's not the way you do it. I can't see any other way at the minute, so it's, it's this way or no way at the minute. Right. So there we go, it's in the grooves as best it's going to get for the moment. Now we've got to put in another one at the front, just to hold it all into place. do is we'll just put the stand off in for the minute. Try and get the bolt hole lined up with the bottom of it. And get it in so it's finger tight. So, so that has now looks like clamped the Raspberry Pi into position. So now we can go ahead and put the top on. So it is this and which way round does it go? Okay, so this is now take two of the video because I've now discovered um, that I had it upside down. Now, stupidly, crazily, this and this bottom bit goes downwards like that. So the Raspberry Pi sits on top on the um, clear shiny side. Didn't realise that, so now we'll try it again and we'll see if we can um, do it again. Um, as I say, sorry about that, people. Um, so we'll try and put it in again um, this way round and see how far we get. See, I knew you. I knew everybody'd be shouting at the screen, going, "No, you're putting it on the wrong way." Um, so sorry about that. 
um, but you um, you learn from your mistakes and all that. So let's see how far we get with this. I'm gonna put on the these first, then we'll slide it in, then we'll put on the other two after that. Just making sure again, there's little grooves in these. I don't know if you can see them. I'm going to hold it up to the camera. I hope you can see that. I'm waiting for it to focus. There we go. There's a little groove in the top of it. So, um, yeah. Anyway, we'll, we'll attempt to put the pie in now. We'll put it into the grooves. There's two grooves. There's one. Back on the back one, there's one on the sides. We've got the side one in. Let's see if we can get the back one in. Um. Just can't be right. Well, it must come on like that. I'm confused people, I'm very very confused at the minute so I'm going to pause this video and work it out and then get back to you. Okay, back again, take three. Um, I've consulted with the wife, now the wife does know best. Um, there's a little pattern diagram on the bottom of the pie. Now the wife thinks this goes on the bottom. Now I'm going to tend to agree with her on this one because there's no other way it can go in. So we reckon this is the bottom of it and this sits on top like that, like a sandwich, like that. So we're going to fit the things in again. We're going to try and fit it again this time and we'll see how far we get on with it this way round. Um, now I've got a... If I'm going to sit it this way, I think the grommets go downwards, not upwards, I think. Yes, I'm pretty sure. So, grooves downwards this time and see how, how far we get. So, I just want to check something to make sure we've got some clearance if the grooves are down, not up. So the grooves are down, not up. Yeah, that looks that looks right. So we're gonna just do a finger tight for the minute until we can tighten them up in a minute once we've got them all around the right way. So 
again just doing finger tight So we've put in um, two. Don't know if that's gonna impede on anything. No, look at that. Yeah, that's exactly the way they go. It's very, very difficult. This. They don't make it easy. So I'm just going to pop that down like that for a minute so we can get this into place. This is definitely a pretty time consuming job. Very, very fiddly. So just getting it all finger tight for the minute. Just doing it finger tight, just so we can get it in there. Okay, now we're going to just tighten it up using the screwdriver just to make sure. Try not to do the screws now. This is definitely how it goes, yes, the wife is absolutely right. I was completely crazy, didn't know what I was doing. So, if we put this on top like this, the holes should, he says optimistically, line up, sort of. I think they do, I think it just needs a bit of um, fettling, as they say, so. Give it a go, we'll see if we can. I'm still on, yeah, I'm still on the. Yeah, so I'm gonna just pop these in. I just wanna get one in just to. Um, see if we can get it in the right place. It's a bit tight on the old. Um, where the screws go. I think it could I think it's because it was cheap and I think it may require a little bit of um fettling into position. Okay, um, well, that's definitely how it goes, but, um, yeah, I'm just not happy with that 
positioning of that at all. So let's see if we can, um, yeah. That's it, there we go. So there we go, that's it in its case, see the wife does know best on this um, occasion, absolutely, um, yeah there we go, there it is in its case, uh, <laughs> um, weirdest case I've ever seen in my life for any sort of computing equipment, got lots of airflow in it, <laughs> I can definitely say that. Um, I'm going to pop on just, it's got some little rubber feet, I'm just going to pop on the bottom in the um, like four corners, some sticky feet, just so it doesn't scratch the table or anything. I've never seen anything like it in my life, the most bizarre, bizarre thing, but quite, quite a good exercise to um, work that out. Well I didn't work it out, the wife worked that one out. And there we are people. My Raspberry Pi in a Raspberry Pi case. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Um, I would love you to um, Give me a thumbs up for this video if you could. Um, we've got there together. Um, sorry it took so long. Sorry I had a bit of a mind melt and didn't know what I was doing. But we got there in the end. Um, so yeah, I'd love a thumbs up. If you've got any comments on it, please drop me, drop me a line. Um, and I look forward to um, hearing from you again. Also, please subscribe. We've got more content coming. We've got. Uh, more videos on the Raspberry Pi, we're going to fire it up and see what happens. Um, I've heard and watched videos about the install of the operating system for the Raspberry Pi, so that could be a bit interesting. Um, it's a Linux based um, operating system, so we'll give that a go and see, see what happens. I've never used Linux before, so it could be fun. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.